Right, you probably can't see this. This phone has a light on it, which should illuminate things, but it's not doing. And when you work it in 3D, it just basically turns the lights off. And that's not what I want. Um, no, yeah, well, whatever. With a bit of luck, you make it out. I've tried to increase the brightness. Basically, there's a frame which I've constructed, and also I managed to weld the original prop shaft onto the motor. And it's a reasonable weld, I would think. That's pretty strong. And then I've got a frame here which I'm trying to mount, but I've got a bit of a problem because I have to mount it vertically and quite high up. And also, the motor itself has to move vertically because the prop shaft moves vertically. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh well. But at least we've got bolts on the front, uh, bolts on the bottom, and bolts on the top of the motor, so we can ma mount something. You know what I mean? We we'll fasten something to the motor itself, and then get it so that it will work, which is good. I'm thinking in terms of a flat plate like that, and drill a hole in the middle for where the bearing is on the motor, and four holes for the actual screws and then <coughs> mount that uh, on the bottom so that it will uh, take the weight of the motor and because it's a flat sheet rather than a box it will flex which means it will allow the, bro the bottom, it will allow the motor to move vertically which is what I'm after but the problem of course I've got then is that it also may topple over I don't think it will but I may need something to stop it from toppling over so I may need to construct something on, for the other side of the motor so that it won't topple over. But I don't know. And it's very dark. I've got any hand lights? Uh, no.